I used to be one of those shame kids. I wouldn't get up in class. I wouldn't get up and speak in class. I'd be really quiet. But now I say to, I say to kids, don't hold back. Stand out. Get up there. Learn to live. Both cultural and modern. I'm Robert Blair. I grew up in Tinga, which is Nakurama tribe of the Gamilaroi clan. So I was doing ecotourism with the Aboriginal Lands Council out at the Willows and a letter came through um, asking for people to audition at the National Aboriginal Island Dance Association in Glebe. So I rang them up, sent letters, and they said come down and audition. I was 21. So then I got two years um, Cert 3 in dance and also with diploma as well. So we had to learn all the modern as well as the cultural. I love showing people our culture. It just connects me back to where I'm from. Who I am. When I perform, I always start looking at the ground, so I'm called Mother Earth. And I just go into a different headspace when I dance. It's given me connection to my background, my culture. Whereas I learned dances from all over Australia. So I've learned dances from Yirrkala at Uluru, from Northern Queensland, Tui Bathurst, um, Torres Strait dances, because we're half Torres Strait. So it's really good learning the island dances as well. So learning all those different ones, I now come back home and I can work out my own. So I'll go out, film an animal, so the goanna. I've gone out, we've sat down, we've filmed it, just to check out all its different moves, and we just put it into our dances. So it's really a connection to our land as well. So I was based in, at Glen, but I travelled to the, all the other schools in the diocese, which was about another 22 schools. So we're right out to Walgert, Moree, Tamworth, Turnerfield, um, Armadale. So all those schools, with the primary and high school, teaching cultural dance. Yeah, well, in the schools, they only do it once a year for NAIDOC week. Whereas when I was in the Armadale Diocese, I'd go out into the schools and do art, music and dance, even when it wasn't NAIDOC week. I'd teach a dance class with a, with a class, which has a couple of Indigenous kids in it, and they'd sit there real quiet, just looking. They just feel like out of place in, in the classroom sometimes. And like when I do the workshops, I do get some kids that adamantly will not come up. But then once they, like, and then they'll come talk to me at lunchtime. And when they come back the next day, they're like, they're getting involved more. Yeah. So at first they always say, no, 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 no. So I don't pressure them. I say, well, you just sit there. I just give them clap sticks. I still do on cultural stuff. So after a while, they, they, they see it, then they, they lose the shame. I say to kids, don't hold back. Like, don't be shame. Don't be nervous. Dance like no one's watching. That's what I usually do. Stand out, get up there, face your fears.